We're going to get started in 30 seconds. Ed is in the house. Good, Ed. You posted a great question on Facebook, and we're going to, we're going to bring it up today. We're definitely going to nail that. Jenny says, Jamaica for a week, then Cancun for a week. Wow. All right, everybody. Must be tough, right? Isn't that what we want to say to Jenny? But that's what, that's what you got to do. And Jenny, I know this was pure work. You were there exploring. You were there uh, investigating for your clients. You were there gaining experience so that you can say to your clients, been there, done that, pull up a chair. Let me tell you all about it. All right, let's get started. It is June. No. <laughs> it is July 7th already. And the good news is that I read in the newspaper this morning, uh, we're going to get a leap second, a leap second, which means that for all of you all over the world who say, I wish I had more time in the day, I wish I had more time in the day, your wish is coming true. At the end of the year, you will get an additional one second. <laughs> How will you spend that one second? That's what I want to know. I mean, this is a dream come true. It's a wish come true. I, this happens every once in a while because the earth is slowing down slightly. And, and they add a second. There you go. There's your second. This is the Ask Stewart Hour, July 7th. I'm very grateful you're here. By the way, I have opened this up to, um, there's a, a, a Facebook private group called TA's Cultivating Groups that uh, I'm grateful to be a member of, and I, I opened this up if they wanted to come join. So if you are not a boot camp member, if you are my guest, I promise not to call on you and pick on you and embarrass you in any way, but just go ahead and type in there. That's what we do here. Of course, you can request that your mic be turned on, because I love it when somebody turns their microphone on and I can hear, we can hear your voice, and then we'll turn it off. Um, just let me know you're a guest. That's all. Just type in, I'm a guest. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Jenny says, yes, she did. She worked hard, and, and you scoped it out for everybody. Oh, my goodness. Listen to this, everybody. Jenny, my friend Jenny, who's a boot camp member, did th over 30 site inspections. Now, that is working. And I hope you took pictures. I hope you posted them on social media. And, and, and I know your clients are going to love it because you've been there, done that. That's awesome stuff. Hello, Jean Ann. You're in the house. Good morning. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. Tina says, hello all. Welcome. I wish you guys could see everything that everybody's typing in. I'm not making this stuff up. Everyone is so kind. Everybody's so sweet. Yes, and and uh, Diamond, yes, you're one of my guests, I know. I'm so glad that you're here. Can't wait to welcome you into boot camp soon. Okay, we're going to get started here. Uh, and those of you who just came in, welcome. This is Stuart Arrow. I'm Stuart Cohen. <laughs> And uh, there's there's no slides, really, other than uh, Ed's question, which we'll show shortly, uh, and there's no script. I love this. I come, I show up here, and you tell me what you want to talk about. Got an issue, got a problem, got an opportunity, got a challenge. Um, I got a question. Do you like my short hair? It's been short now for a few weeks. Why did I cut my hair short? Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this to give you time to post a question. So here's your time to post a question. Hey, Stuart, I got a group problem. Hey, Stuart, I got a group issue. Don't post, hey, Stuart, I got a rash on my elbow. What do I do? I'm not equipped to, to help you. I would just say, Lanacane. <laughs> That's what happens when you have too much coffee in the morning. Uh, so I got my hair cut because I, did I tell you this last time? I don't remember. I, I'm going to be in the show Million Dollar Quartet, which was just wrapped up filming here in Memphis, and I'm an extra. Just an extra. I may have mentioned this last time, but I'm very proud, and they paid me to cut my hair. But now I have to, everybody loves it short now, so I got to go pay money to have somebody cut my hair, because before I never cut it. I'm a star. I'm not really sure I'm a star. I'm a, maybe a star in my own mind, Jenny, but it's a start. It's a start to my stardom. Nobody posted a question. Well, I, unbelievable. Seriously. Here's what happens. In the last 30 minutes, you guys build up momentum, and, and, and then you're not shy. You just go to town. So go ahead and do it. And by the way, if you do want your microphone turned on, type, also just type in, please put my mic on. And here's how that works. I will tell you before I do it. I'll let you know before I do it so I don't catch you sneezing or belching 
or something like that, or the dog barking. <laughs> All right? All right. Sounds like a plan. Here we go, Rich. Um, Stuart, following the group law, and Ed, we're going to get your question in a minute. I just want to give it a chance for people to type in because I have a feeling what we're going to talk about with Ed uh, is going to take is is going to be a big subject, uh, and I hope everybody's going to enjoy it too and contribute. Uh, Rich says, Stuart, following the GLS, which is the group launch sequence, talk about the types of questions you should ask in the surveys. Ha! Ah, this has been a big question. Uh, for for a while, and and what you're going to do now is inspire me to go back and put some samples and examples in to help, because the survey is very critical. Because if they don't do the survey, that then, then then you 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 may not. It makes it a little harder for them to engage for the rest of the program. That doesn't mean they're never they're not going to buy. They're out. That's not true. But but the survey is the hook. Right, so with the group launch sequence from my boot campers, I lay out a whole new promotional plan. So you end up building all the momentum in the world. Huge pressure, huge momentum before you take a dollar, before you put it on sale. So that when you open up, we're open for sale. You open up that door, they come charging in, here's my car. I did it with my river cruise and it worked. The majority of my business came in within the first day. Okay, so survey questions. Um, survey questions, you, you want to make, first of all, you want to make it short. And I suggest doing, uh, uh, you know, multiple choice. Like the survey that I did was uh, when I first launched boot camp. I did group launch sequence when I launched boot camp. So I asked the question, what are, you the, uh, what are the biggest challenges doing groups? Pick all that applies. So I listed probably 12 different things, okay, uh, and, and, and this way it was easy for people. They didn't have to think. Click, 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 and there was a box, any comments. Some people commented and suggested more challenges, and they click submit. That's it. It was easy, and, and, and I found that agents wanted to share because these were issues. They wanted to get more group leaders. They wanted to get more groups. Where, you know, they, they wanted to make more money. Now, I, intuitively, I knew this, so the questions, Rich, and everybody you're going to ask are questions you may know the answer to. Like, if it's a, I'm just going to say, if it's a river cruise, uh, and, and, it, and, it's, a, and it's, it's a wine-themed river cruise. I'm just making this up here. Um, what, what, would, what, would you, what, would most, what would be most important to you on a, 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 a river cruise with a wine tasting theme, okay, to to visit the vineyards, and I think we may have somebody did this or had this conversation or posted on Facebook because it sounds familiar now. But let's talk about it. I'm going to give you examples, okay, to visit the vineyards. Now you know that, like on Ama or the other ones, that you can go visit, and and, and the, the family will take you underground, and you can visit, you know, the cellars, or you can go see the fields. Or would you like to create your own Zinfandel? I did that. You know, that you can mix your own drinks. Would you, what, what pairings? Would you want to do pairings? Um, let's say if it's not one, let's say it's a resort. Because last time we had Jeff Millar on, my friend, uh, and we talked about uh, uh, groups in resorts. The opportunities, the challenges, the higher profits versus cruises and so forth. And, and how groups are handled there. G very good subject matter. Um, and that could be what 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 are the amenities that would be most important or that you'd use most frequently or that would be most important to you inclusive resort a spa learning how to kayak um, playing group volleyball you know whatever these things are the amenities that it offers I know one of you, I forget who, was it Diane? I don't remember. African Safari. Forgive me. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? African Safari. So you list the things that are most important. You know, you know, you, and, and I like that concept, Rich, of having of you put the answers down. Because if it's, if it's more than three questions and, and it takes any thought, people don't have time. They're going to move on. They're not going to answer. So you want to do everything possible to engage intuitively you might know the answers but 
what a what a gift if you do learn something. Because I when I did my survey uh, to at, at the first stage of launching group boot camp, I just assumed the number one challenge is uh, finding more groups, right? No, guess what the number one challenge was that came in when I did the final count of responses? It was getting the group leader to commit and deliver. It was all about the group leader, right? Is that true for you? Would you agree? Getting the group leader to commit. Commit means getting them to sign on, so that's selling that group leader. Now, it was a loaded question. And deliver, okay, now are they going to do good for you? Now, this is a big, big, big issue. That, so that, I thought that would be number two. But it's actually number one. So those that's that's where I, I would hope you would go. Now, I'm gonna make you this offer, and then I'm gonna look at the question box, see who else has posted questions. Ed, we're gonna to get to yours too, which is about strategic partnerships, relationships with other business people, B2B deals. Uh, if you if you have a, a, a group and you're ready to do GLS and you, you want to get some feedback on your survey, be bold and post it in our private Facebook community, in our Facebook community, and, and I will be happy to make comments, and you'll get feedback from everybody else. I don't have all the answers. I love it when there's participation, there's engagement, there's sharing of best practices and ideas, but you can certainly email it to me. However, in, in the Facebook forum, uh, we're gonna, you're going to get even more feedback, which I think you'd want, which would be awesome. So Rich sent it to me, and everybody else sent it to me. And man, oh man, I hope I get a survey every day, because that means you're, there's another boot camp member launching a new group today, and tomorrow, and the next day. Nothing would give me more pleasure than to assist with that. Okay, And, and here's the deal. I just want to make this comment. Okay, uh, if you ask me, or if you post on Facebook, or if you ask this question now, if you ask me for coaching, that means you're opening the door for me to coach. You're giving me permission to give you my professional opinion. Okay, uh, and, and, and I am, my, the reason why you see that wrench there is because my nickname, nickname is The Wrench. Because I do two things. I throw a wrench into almost anything. Because I can kind of see what's going to work and what's not going to work, and I'm going to say, well, hmm, I think we can make that strong. I think we can make it better. And, and I also use the wrench to tighten it up. So it's solid, baby. It's solid. So when you get out there, you put your name on it, you put your money behind it, you put your time behind it, it works. Because we've eliminated all obstacles and reasons for it to possibly fail. Richard, I hope that helps. So let me keep going in order here. Hey, Stuart, this is from Tina. How do you know what extras to add to a package for a group? Or they don't really know what added benefits they want. Great question, Tina. Fabulous. Let me read it again. Hey, Stuart, how do you know what extras to add to a package for a group if they don't really know what added benefits they want? It's this, this could perhaps be the, the biggest, most important, um, most critical way you, as a travel professional, can position yourself as an expert as a, a person they would never think of, of, of not using when it comes to book their next vacation. To validate your very existence, to validate your purpose in their life as a travel professional. Because here's where you, Tina, have to realize that it's a darn good thing they don't know what else they can do. Because if they did, they'd be as smart as you. They'd be a travel professional. Now, they can do all the bazillions of research online in the world, and they still won't have the knowledge that... In Jenny's case, she did over 30 site inspections. Tina, I wonder if you've done site inspections. Bet you have. Been there, done that. You know stuff that... Only you know, because you've been there. Or you've attended training or certification from that supplier. Listen, folks, friends, give yourselves a lot more credit than I think you sometimes give yourself. Sometimes you're afraid when they, when they call 
and they're going to they're gonna shop you till they drop you. But as soon as they see that you know significantly more than they do, and you do, you do, it's, sometimes it's hard for you to accept and realize how much you know. Because you do it every day, perhaps for many years. So, coming back to your question, it, it, the way you know what they would love and need as the part of the package is through the qualifying stage, when you're qualifying, when you're playing the detective. You're asking questions. What do you need? What do you want? What would you love to have? And if you want, if you want to do some luxury stuff, because a lot of times people, you know this, we all go on vacation and we do things that we don't normally do at home. When I go on vacation, I get the magnificent massages. I don't do that at home. For instance, everyone treats themselves. You need to uncover what it is. And and the perfect question. I don't know if you guys saw, but I published an article. I write regularly for Agent at Home magazine, and the one in this issue is getting tremendous take rate because people are emailing me. Um, I, I, it's called uh, Stuart's Best Pickup Lines. Stuart's Best Pick. And one of the pickup lines, Tina, that will relate to this that you can ask in the qualifying stage is um, uh, what, what would be a dream come true? What's, what's something you've always, always, always wanted to do? And it might be a couple's massage. It might be zip line. It might be a limo. It might be a private tour guide. Pull it out of them. Ask Tina. Ask high mileage questions. Give them permission to reveal their dreams. And then, and then in your head, you're like, oh, I can do that. So, you know, and remember another thing, you never, ever, ever want to put something in the package that you don't know for sure they want. So you're going to give feedback. So as soon as they say, oh, well, we've always wanted to, but we've never, a couple massage. Really. So if, 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 I can work some magic and sort of build that in. Uh, would, would that be awesome? Yes, Tina, that would be great. If you can do it, it's just we're always worried about the cost and it's expensive and stuff. Okay? Well, if you give me permission, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, to create a magical package for you, where everything's all built in because sometimes when you get there, it's not available. Sometimes when you get there, it's more expensive. Sometimes when you get there, it's stressful. You guys, you got to wait online. I create packages for my clients, Miss Miss Jones. I'm sure hoping you're going to give me permission to work the same magic for you and create a package that gives you lots of value and makes dreams come true. We good? We good? So that's that's what you do, Tina. You ask high mileage questions, and and I'm going to come back because this is my number one most famous pickup line of all. And sometimes what's part of the package, Tina, is, is not a massage ne necessarily uh, that, adds, uh, that adds pleasure, but it's something that takes away stress. Hear me out. Listen to me. Ask the question. You've heard this before, you people who know me. What don't you want? Or, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, what went wrong? on your last vacation that you don't want to have happen again. Wow! Talk about a high mileage question. That's why they're coming to you if they've never booked with you before because something went wrong. They missed something. They didn't get something. They weren't happy. That's why they're on your doorstep saying, can you help me please? Okay, what don't you want? Or what don't you want to ever happen again? Because maybe it had to do with the transfer. They were in a taxi cab, and it was a miserable experience. And a limo, a transfer, private, personalized, would be loved. See, something like that. It adds luxury, right? It does, but it also reduces stress. And, and, and But I think it's more about, oh, by the time we get to the restaurants, they were sold out. We couldn't get in. Okay, Tina's thinking, I'll make those restaurant reservations in advance. Package it in. Maybe it's a way you can make a buck on those dinner reservations. Well, it's a group. 
Of course you're going to make a buck on everything. You're going to get a group rate, maybe a fixed menu, book it in advance, make it more convenient. They're going to go to eat anyway. They're going to wait on a, a line a mile long to get a table for 20, but you're going to, does that help, Tina? All right, here we go. I got to keep going. Wow, this is fun so far. Nancy, okay, so many questions that I don't know where to begin. <laughs> well, start somewhere. All right, Ed. Um, okay, Ed says, here we go. Oh, and you want to put your camera on too. Here we go. So Ed has his mic and cam ready. So Ed, uh, let, just type in Ed so I know that it's it, that you're good to go. And I see everybody's making a lot of comments here. I promise I will get to all of them. Let me just make sure Ed is ready. All right, Ed. Hold on, everybody. We're in for a treat. Hold on. I got to get to Ed. I got to get to attendees. I got to find Ed. And I'm going to send you, um, uh, hold on there. I'm going to uh, um, uh, make, I'm going to make you, hold on there. We'll get you, we'll get you, Ed. Hold on. I'm unmuting your mic. And I'm also trying to send you, hey, Ed, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, here we go. What's weird is I don't, I can't send you a, uh, I'm trying to send you a, a, a um, a webcam request, and it's not allowing me. Hmm. That's very interesting. It should. I'm sorry. But let, uh, let me see if I can make you a, pre a presenter. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Sure. And da -da -da. Uh oh. All right, Ed. Hold on. Thanks, everybody. Have patience. This is exciting. No, it won't let me. Isn't that crazy? I'm so sorry. So we're going to have to stick with the microphone, Ed. That's all right. It's everyone else's loss, not my own, to see my face. I know. I'm like, I'm upset. Wait, I got to close my eyes because I know what you look like. You're a boot camp I see on Facebook. All right, Ed. I can see what you look like. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being bold enough to turn your mic on. What's your question? So, Stuart, it's, it's a kind of a 30,000 foot question. I've got a couple of leads that I'm working for what I see as more of a B2B partnership where I'd like to uh, help these businesses develop further the relationships they have with their clientele through travel. Um, and I'd like to help them build a trip and, and sell through them this trip uh, that the, the business leaders would be on um, and, and use it to strengthen the relationships I also have some ideas about how these could create direct sales for the uh, for the businesses, although that's a um, a harder one to peg down and something I'm still working on. So one of them is uh, is not out of uh, out of the ordinary. Let's we'll say it's a wine store, mm -hmm. and I want to work with the wine shop to plan a trip that their customers might like, and have them help me sell it in one of many ways or, or in many different ways mm -hmm. and then have the wine shop owner on the trip so while they're there and tasting Bordeaux's he can say Frank I know how much you'll like this um, or, or learn that Susan really loves a Chardonnay um, and, and, and you know build those better relationships right. um, and, and that's kind of the 30,000 foot question topic. I have lots of granular questions, but I guess mm -hmm. initial thoughts I'd appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a great question. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll keep, you want to shut your mic or keep it on for right now to, as we talk? I'll keep it on if you don't mind. Okay, no, pro no problem. Okay. Uh, I'd, I'd like you to write this word down, please. Sorry yeah. if it sounds like uh, elementary, but just write this word down. Loyalty. Loyalty. Um, I, I believe that's a very, very important word. It triggers emotions. It triggers desires. It, it triggers fear. It triggers all kinds of stuff when you talk to a business owner because the most important thing in their world is customer loyalty. Sometimes it's it's staff loyalty naturally, but it's customer loyalty, mm -hmm. just like just like you, just like me. We want we want your customers to come back and be loyal to you. And uh, that's a whole other subject, but keyword loyalty before I forget. So 
I love your concept. I love your idea. When it comes to B2B, it, it's it's similar in a way to a consumer because in a consumer, you're a problem solver, especially with a group. You're going to offer a travel as the solution to a problem they have. If it's an organization, they want to they want to do something special for their their tenth year anniversary. If it's a family reunion, they want to bring everybody together and everybody has a good time. But great grandma all the way down to the little one. There's a problem. The ship or the resort's a solution. With a business. It's even more critical because, Ed, just like you probably get inundated with phone calls and letters and knocks on the door, hey, kid, you want to buy this? Hey, you want to buy this? You know, business people, right? Everyone wants to sell you something. The same with mm -hmm. the, this, this guy or this gal who owns the wine shop. So my, my number one tip is don't go in selling. You, you want to go in, and you're, you're at. We talked about being the detective with Tina before. You have to be, you have to understand what their problem is, and and once you identify that, they do want to establish a more loyal customer base. That they do want to have programming in place to to be able to connect with, engage with, and bond more with their customers. Because if they don't, then it's up to you if you want to keep buying your wine there. But you got to move on to find a, a an owner. Who has that interest? So you can't sell them anything unless unless it solves their problem. That's first and foremost. And 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 I always say, and I'm going to rifle off some stuff, folks. Here, um, if you're not in the door yet, go for the 15 minute meeting. Go for the 15 minute meeting, especially if it's local. Ed, is this is this mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you thinking of a place that's local to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, 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 because I do this all, all day long here in Memphis uh, because the people aren't afraid of that. And, and you position it that you're not selling something. You just want to learn. And, and, and maybe you could say, hey, I've been buying wine from you for whatever years. I'm, I'm your best customer. And also, I'm a local business owner just like you. Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Would you mind? Uh, have a cup of coffee with me. Let me buy a cup of coffee. Well, let's have a cocktail. Um, I'd love to learn about you know I I'm a business owner too about about your business what's going on and and how you you know how, how you work I want to learn more because that's what I do and they say sure come on in and of course inevitably dur during that meeting Ed they say so tell me about you and 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 I never sell myself I just tell them who I am what I do and and then and then during that process if you if you say if you hear them saying that loyalty and building their customer base these things are important which it probably is still don't spill the beans and the worst thing to do by the way Ed, let me take a step back the worst thing to do my friends is to send a long email to the owner with your idea with your concept because it's like they don't have time they 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 cuz they, they, then it almost looks like they're going to work for you and sell cabins and right the, the, the next big tip I want to give you and everybody else is your number one mission needs to be aligned. You guys need to be totally synchronized that your number one mission is to produce a great trip. That has to be the number one mission. Then your secondary objectives, Ed, you want to make money. Mm-hmm. His or her secondary is to make money. Your objectives have to be aligned, and it has to be, this is obvious, win-win. Because the worst thing in the world is uh, you roll up your sleeves, you block the space, you get all excited, and then all of a sudden they say, I don't have time, I'm not going to do this, I didn't realize it, which, which, then you turn to the group agreement letter. Have you done boot camp? Have you read about the group agreement letter? Yeah. All right, critical. And you sit down, you roll up your sleeves before you launch, and you sit down and you say, hey, we're going to write this together, my friend, and I'm going to write down exactly what I'm going to do so you, you know what I'm going to deliver to make this a success so we deliver to our number one objective and then to our secondary objectives. And we're going to write down what you're going to do so you're comfortable. You know what you got to deliver, and, and together we're golden. There won't be any surprises along the way. Of course they're going to sign the agreement letter. Um, the final thing, Ed, I want to leave you with, and then and I'll, I promise I'll stop talking, is uh, there are several ways to get in that door to leverage it. And if you don't have one of these five ways, it's going to be tough. Number one, if you're a customer, because that's a conversation starter, right? Mm -hmm. 
you know their business. Number two, you've been referred to them. Maybe they know the person who referred them. It really opens up doors. You know that when you use a name. When you say, hey, I'm a FOB, friend of Bob. Next, uh, it could be a, uh, a shared passion. And now, this may not be as powerful. Um, a shared passion could be, hey, you and I have a lot of like. We're a member of this organization. We both love drinking wine. We love, you know, I keep seeing you around town, whatever. You have to prove. It's harder, but you have to prove you have a shared passion. Maybe you guys do have something in common in terms of an organization or, uh, so you can, you can actually make that more, um, uh, more concrete, that it's true. You're not just talking wind. Uh, and, and the other would be... Um, uh, a fan. If they happen to be a celebrity chef or a, they're big, a big wig and you're a big fan. Ah, I think at the top of the list, being a customer is the most potent. But I think that's mm -hmm. how you get a door open and start a conversation and uncover what their problem is and how you know you can solve that problem with travel by producing this amazing trip. But it's, it's stages. You know, don't jump the gun, my friend. Take it slow. Because maybe they've been hit a hundred times before. You want to do a group, you want to do a group, but maybe they'll do it with you because you took a whole different approach. Okay. I have um, a number of other questions. One of them is a little more specific. It, when it gets down the line, when we're looking at actually building a package, of course, narrowing down the op options is, is my job. It's what I do. Um, how much, when it's this kind of partnership, how much do you think it's appropriate to go to the to the business and to, to my partner there and and have them work with them to hone down uh, the options that are in the package because they know my thinking is that they know their customers clients best and so we can talk about this tour versus that tour or that line versus the other line you're nodding, so I think you understand my question. I do. And I love your thinking process here. And listen up, everybody. This is critical because Ed or everybody else, you're the travel pro, just like we talked with Tina before. You're going to know a lot more than them. But by asking the right questions and giving them, and this is important with, with the consumer too, by giving them skin in the game, making them feel like mm -hmm. they're a part of the creation process, they're going to go home and talk about it. Oh, I met with Ed today and we decided this and I said, no, 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 I don't want to do the whites, I want to do the reds. They're going to feel, even though you're Ed, you're the pro, you're guiding them down the path, yes, because they're the expert in their area, they're definitely helping you. And, and you want to use their experience, you want, to, you want to use their judgment calls to help create the best package person possible. It's perfect. And the fact that, that they feel like you're listening to them and they're, they're a part of the creation process, that, you know, again, they're a stakeholder in the actual mm -hmm. product. They're going to sell it, sell it. They're going to talk about it with a lot more confidence because they know everything about it. The worst thing in the world is if you have to go and sit down and train them. All right, here's what you're talking about. Here's how it's going to work. No, 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 no. They already know it. They could talk about it with such passion and enthusiasm. It's just as good as you because they were part of the creation process. Does that help? Yes, indeed. Indeed. And I think that, that I, I think there are lots of things that go to speak to one of my other concerns, and it's mm -hmm. something that is maybe resolved in, um, in increments, in, in breadcrumbs along the path, and that is overcoming a business owner's objection to exposing their client list, their customer base, which is hard-earned, to a newcomer, which, which presents a liability to them in some ways, right? But, but perhaps if the whole process is undertaken so carefully, yes. they have a natural trust of me I, that the objection never really comes up. And if, yes. if, if the objection comes up, maybe I failed to build trust in the first place. I want to make a recommendation to you because I, 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 my personality is, is, to, is, to, is to be bold. And, and this, this might not be necessarily bold per se, but if you know, Ed, and everybody, listen, if you know going in, this is, this is 
probably if it's lingering, that's going to be an issue. Instead of hoping it doesn't come up, mm -hmm. hit it, hit it right away. So as you go down this path and you start talking, say, Mr. Mr. Jones, I, I want to make something very clear to you. I'm going to put this in writing too. I have no interest in your list. Your customers are your customers. So uh, we'll get this papered up that that our mission here is to produce a phenomenal trip. Now I'm going to take great care of everyone on the trip, uh, and, and these are these are all going to be most of them are going to be your customers. Some are going to be my customers because I'm going to market it to my database too, and I hope they're going to be driven in to buy some wine from you. <laughs> but I'll put in writing that that any promotional emails, any materials that go out, you approve. Don't give me your list unless you want me to distribute the email. Otherwise, you send it out. In fact, if you want, we'll create a private special Facebook page where everybody can come and mingle and mix, and we can communicate that way too. We're going to do webinars and stuff, but just know I, that's not my interest. They're your customers. Would I love them? I want them to book this. Do I want them to come back and book another vacation? Absolutely. But I will show you every communications, and if they want to opt into anything else I'm offering, I hope that you'll give me permission to say, sure, join the family. So I would hit it right on because you know okay. it would be an issue. All right? Okay. Thank you. Good stuff. This was great, Ed. Keep it coming. Get any more, type it in, or else we can talk more next time or on Facebook. This is great. I, uh, I, I really appreciate you turning the mic on. It makes for a really nice, lively, engaging conversation, even though I, there was a lot of hot air coming from me. But uh, I, I hope I helped. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm going to mute your mic. And um, thanks so much, Ed. And, and hey, everybody, if you guys have comments about what I said, what Ed asked, bring it. That's what makes this fantastic. It's best practices. All right, here we go. Uh, wow, we have so many questions coming in. Uh, by the way, if you've just joined us, I'm Stuart, your host. This is the Ask Stuart Hour. We do this every other week. It's exclusive for group boot camp members, although we do have some special guests in uh, who uh, I, I've asked to join us so they get a feel for us, get a taste of it, and uh, it, it's, there's, there's no slides. There's no script. Whatever comes my way, I try to g give you my help. So live business coaching, direct access to me. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you're all giving me this time right now. It is being recorded, and I always po uh, post on the, the uh, podcast page um, in case you missed the beginning or um, well, want to hear something again. Okay. Nancy says, how far, Nancy, how far, how far ahead should you set your calendar for group launches? Great question. I don't think it's ever too early. I'll say that again. It's never too early to start the whisper campaign, right? The, to start the survey. It's never too early. Now, that's a very general question, Nancy, because, excuse me, for something like a river cruise, I started, I started uh, two years out, just about two years out from my river cruise, because it's a big deal. It's a big trip. People have to take potentially two weeks off and for some people it's a lot of money for most people right if it's a if it's a weekend trip if it's a shorter trip you may not need that kind of lead time but I'm a big believer and tell me if you agree or disagree everybody you can never start too early it's impossible because if you start planting seeds three years in advance you, th that's important you've planted the seed they, they, they may have interest because People, unless they're retired, right? People tend to plan vacations well in advance. They say, oh, next year we want to do this. They may not be ready to book it a year out, but they know what they want to do. If you plant the seed, then perhaps they know what they want to do in 2018, which is to take this group trip with you. And they'll start talking about it, right? They'll start talking. Oh, listen, Nancy's got something they, that uh, she says is coming our way. Don't know much about it. Don't know the details. But uh, maybe you guys, maybe we'll do that together in 2018. Start now. Start now. Now, when you actually do, the survey can be done early too. But when you actually, you, and you can build up momentum. But when you actually open up for sale and stuff, that you know, again, that's based on your comfort level in terms of how expensive, how many days that they have to take off time. The bigger the chip, the more expensive the chip, the longer the days. I would say you got to back it up more. It's it's real hard for somebody to take a river cruise um, spontaneously unless they're retired. And they're loaded. <laughs> Hope that
that helped, Nancy. Uh, Diamond says, I'm hoping members of TA's Cultivating uh, Group Business would be here with questions. They're always sending me private messages about boot camp. I have encouraged them to join. Diamond, I'm grateful for that. Thank you. You, you can always have them call me, text me. Yes, I give out my cell phone number. You want to text me? I'm going to give you my cell phone number. I think you should give out your cell phone number to all of your clients. How many of you do? Have you ever had anybody abuse your text number, your cell phone number? I've yet to ever hear somebody say, yes, I gave out my cell phone. I'll never do it again because somebody abused it. I give it out when I do keynotes. By the way, I'm so excited. I have like my dance card is still filling up for this fall. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be at the, uh, uh, the, the Palace Resorts Global Conference again. Um, I have two bids in right now for two. I can't tell you because they're not, they're not definite. I'll be at Travel Leaders. Uh, I'll be at uh, uh, Cruise One, Dream Vacations, and Cruise Inc. Uh, I'll, it, it's very exciting. In any case, let me get back on track. Here's my cell phone number. Write it down. Area code 631-877-9080. Six three one eight seven seven nine zero eight zero. Operators are standing by. <laughs> Nobody ever texts me. That doesn't mean you, you know you have to, but if you want to, don't. It's okay. That's all right. It's a great way to communicate, and 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 it's a great way to connect with your client to say that listen, I'm in your pocket. I'm yours. You got a question? You got an idea? Text me. Don't don't you? Because know, people don't get the phone. They don't pick up the phone these days. Nancy says. Can you launch a group within six months of travel date? So this is a follow-up question to that, and I may have answered it, Nancy. It's possible you can launch a group within six months, absolutely, if they're retired and are flexible with their time and flexible with their income, or if it's a shorter trip, or it could be a long weekend. It could be to a spa, you know, a, a, a domestic spa kind of a deal. Absolutely, totally, totally possible. It really depends. Uh, LaVon says, ah, that, that you're doing the African safari. Maybe you'd like to share. Maybe you have questions. I don't know if you've launched yet, but that's awesome. That's awesome. Keep us up to speed. Keep this. Keep us. Um, if you, if you would, and maybe we can all share best practices. And that's Diane, right? Diane. So Diane, meet Levon. Levon, meet Diane. Uh, Diane is the Diane uh, uh, Blair Hickey is the safari gal, going to Kenya in October. Look at that network right here at boot camp, friends. Levon Marcus, Diane Blair Hickey. I made the introduction. Hook up, help each other. Uh, Deb says, sorry, you're late. You're not late. It's impossible. The whole idea is here, if you can stick around the whole thing, great. If you come in late or if you got to leave early, that's all right. I respect you got you got money to make and, and um, you know, and, and, and if that call comes in, you got to take it. Uh, you're very welcome, Richard. Okay, Diamond says, for cruises, do you require the passengers to send copies of their identity documents, license, birth certificate, passport? Great question. What do you guys do? For cruises, do you require the passengers to send you copies of their identity documents, license, birthday, and passport? I am for my river cruise. I will. Why? Because you guys know this. You're, you're the TAs in the house. How many times have people forgotten an important document, but you've got a copy of it that at least uh, will, will let pass? How many times have you been in the cruise ship terminal and you see honeymoon couples and families, people sweating bullets and angry and sad and frustrated, calling home saying, can you fax me a copy of my passport? I left it on the, on the, on the, uh, on the seat of, the, of my car. Absolutely get that copy. Absolutely. Diane says, where do we find the pickup line questions? Ah, the pickup line questions. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to post. I didn't do that yet. I didn't do it. So I'm going to post, and I'll post it in Facebook, uh, a link to the page where I have it. Because right now, every people who read Agent at Home, they send me an email, they request it. I send them a link where they can download it. But you guys, you got boot campers, I give you everything. So thank you for reminding me. I will do that. Gina says, hey, Stuart, happy Thursday. Hi, Gina. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, Tina said, yes, it helped. Ed was ready with that. Patty says, hey, Patty. More of a comment than a question. If anyone is recommending global entry to the group, supply early. I saw this morning that Boston doesn't have appointments until March 2017. Did you get that? Patty, you're awesome for sharing this. If you're recommending global entry to groups, have them apply early. Boston doesn't have appointments 
until March 2017. And I am so grateful that I've got my global entry. It's awesome. The problem is my wife doesn't. So now when we travel internationally together, I have to make a very difficult decision. Do I buzz through? Or do I be a good husband and wait online with my wife, Kimberly? What do you think I do? I wait online with my wife, Kimberly. <laughs> Ramona says, uh, hey, Stuart, please have Ed contact me. I'm working on a similar situation with a client. B2B wants to know what's in it for them. I share a portion of commission with the business as well as they get the TC. So I'm going to read this again. Ed, listen up. Come back, come back, come back. Ramona, listen up. Uh, and, and I see your phone number here. So I will, I will send, just so I don't put it publicly, I'll send uh, uh, the, the, I'll connect you guys, okay? Similar situation with the client, B2B wants to know what's in it for them. I share a portion of my commission with the business as well as they get all the TC. Okay, stop! Now, Ramona, I'm not passing judgment on that because it's possible that's what they want. But if a, if a, if a B2B came to me and said, what's in it for me? I wouldn't tell them what I want to give them because what if they don't know what a TC is? Remember, one of the first rules I teach in boot camp is don't give away the TC, man. That's yours. That's yours unless they're too savvy and they already know they can get it. They shouldn't. There's some travel agent who don't know what a TC is. They say, so what's TC? A tour conductor, a tour credit, a freebie. And they're going to think, Ramona, be careful because they're going to think it's really free. But it's right. If it's a cruise ship, it's one berth at a time, plus taxes, plus NCCFs, blah, 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 blah. So, oh, my gosh, this costs you a lot more money than if you just earn it. You'd have to lay out. So let's back up for a second. Ed, and Ramona, you go back to being that detective to ask high mileage questions, to find out what their problem is, and to ask them, what do you need? What do you want? What if they don't want profit share? What if they just want to travel free with their spouse and they don't want any cash? This money is not, they make enough money selling wine. Two buck chuck. Is that what that's called, two buck chuck? Don't presume you know what they want. I use this example all the time. You know, somebody said, well, I'll treat you to a, a you know, a steak dinner at the finest steakhouse. I'll say, thank you, but no thank you because I can't eat steak and people are like why why it doesn't matter you lost me so don't assume that in in our game it always has to be profit share kickbacks and free trap and, and a TC right Ramon I hope this helps unless they need to tell you what they want because then when you draft up your agreement letter here's what you wanted Here's what you're going to get. And then you offer levels. You offer tiers. You offer incentives. Because you want to find out from them what's going to really push their buttons. What's going to really get them pumped. You want to layer on an incentive so that group leader works extra hard for you and for them because there's something in it for them. With them. What's in it for me? I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> what do you need? What's it going to take to get you excited about this? Because sometimes it's not about the cash. And sometimes they're loaded. Or listen, one more thing. What if it's an organization and they're the president of the organization or VP and they already get their trip paid for? Why would you give them a free trip if they don't need it? I hope that all I like to do is open up eyes. So I just want to mark this down. Uh, Ramona, I'm going to connect you um, to add... Ooh, this is a lively session. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, and I'm going to take care of that. Thank you so much, Ramon, for offering that. Dan says, could you create a PDF for all this podcast? Great languaging that I would like to copy. Have a go. Uh, oh, you're meeting the ensemble rep. Good. Good luck, Dan. Thank you very much. Okay. I really don't do transcriptions of this, although there's good stuff here. We'll see. Maybe. Good idea. Hmm. Tina, <laughs> I'm here with Diamond, and I'm a part of boot camp. Cool. Hey, what's up, Tina? Welcome. Uh, Gina says, I request copies of travel documents from all my clients. So Gina does. Copies of photocopies of travel documents. Beautiful. Awesome. And by the way, are you guys using forms to capture critical information about the trip too? 
Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to send. I'm going to post on Facebook the link that I'm using for air for my river cruise, so that people online can type in their first name, middle name, last name, exactly as it appears on their passport, and say I accept the air. So I, it's it's like it's, it's like it's it's an electronic signature. I'm going to post that on Facebook so you all can see what I create using JotForm. Thank you, Gina. Uh, Gina says, happy wife, happy life. That's why I stand online and I'm still global entry. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Very good. Patty said, what a, what a perfect birthday present for your wife, global entry. Indeed. But here's the deal. I'm going, uh, you know, usually she, sometimes she's able to come on business trips with me. You know, when I have a speaking engagement, like for instance, hmm, we did this last year, we're doing it again. I'm going to make you all jealous. Get ready. Really get ready. Uh, I've done the Palace Resorts Global Conference for several years. And last year, uh, we were fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go down to La Blanc. And you probably heard me talk about it ad nauseum in the past. Uh, for, I don't know, four days, three nights prior to conference last year. And we're going again this year. <laughs> ah. Have you ever been to LeBlanc? If you've been to LeBlanc, you know what I'm talking about. If you've never been to LeBlanc, you need to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> An amazing, amazing experience. Yes, a global entry. So we were going to do it in Orlando because I'm going with Kimberly on her business trip. She's a, a board-certified cardiovascular nurse practitioner. She's taken... Uh, uh, a, a course on EKGs. Would you like me to teach EKGs? I can't, and it sounds dull, but she loves it. In any case, I'm going with her to Orlando, and I said, let's try to make an appointment at the Global Entry Office there in Orlando. But you got to pay your fee, your hundred dollars, before you know if you can get an appointment on a specific date, because we have no Global Entry here in Memphis. Too much information. I just thought I'd share. Ed said, no commission share. Ed said, I'm building my Pied Piper berths into the total trip cost as per the boot camp P and L lessons. Yes. Did you get that, everybody? Build that Pied Piper berth into the trip cost so you're not giving anything away free. And remember, you got to net it down, baby, and build your profit margin way back up. All right, Ramona says, yes, it does. I guess that made sense. Thanks for helping change my thinking. My pleasure. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to make a comment. Remember, everybody, if you like what you hear, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, but I, I always say this, take what you like and leave the rest at the door. <laughs> I won't be insulted. I want you to do it your way. Had you more comfortable, my job here is to open up eyes to new opportunities. Jan says, hi, Jan. Have you ever had anyone refuse to send you a copy of their travel documents? I have. Interesting. I get it. Tell me, everybody. Everybody in the house right now. Have you ever had a customer not give you a copy of the travel documents? Because I guess they're, right, Jan, they're probably afraid of um, identity theft or something. Okay, and I don't know what you did, Jan, but I guess that, that if, if with my river cruise, because I haven't made this request yet, my cruise is not until April 2017. But uh, oh, by the way, I'm just putting this out there. I I got a few extra staterooms. It's a charter. I'm doing a partial ship charter of the brand new Ama Christina. If anybody in boot camp, if you have a customer who may be interested, I actually added more to my just to get a bigger spread. Uh, of staterooms um, before I give them back because I, I, I went a little bit more than I really needed but I'm still holding them uh, let me know because I, I think by like September I'm gonna if I have anything left I'm gonna give it back okay and it's the package is phenomenal I mean my mom's coming but like Kimberly's parents coming this is uh, this is really truly a family and friends very special thing but if you have somebody who wants to go I have it it's a great it's gonna be a great attention it's the Rhine River um, so what I would do, Jan, is uh, and I, I would, and I'm going to see if you commented. If somebody won't send documents, I have to accept that. There's nothing I can do. But what what I'm going to tell them is that um, uh, please, please bring bring photocopies and pack them in a separate bag with you. Keep them on your person. And here's why I collect them. I collect them should you forget them home. Should you lose them while we're traveling? Should you misplace them because they cause all kinds of nightmares if you do lose them? If you do misplace them? Or if they get stolen on the trip, that's why I keep a photocopy. So it will eliminate a lot of risk. But if you don't want to give the copies to me, and I'll keep them in a sealed envelope, I understand. I, I, I appreciate your concern, 
I would advise you to make photocopies, keep them in an envelope, and put them, keep them on your person. Right? Does that make sense? Jenny said she stayed up black last week. Yeah, it's crazy. It's amazing. Uh, getting ready to be treated like a king and a queen. Uh, Robbie, hey Robbie, says, uh, yes, do not want to hand over. So Robbie has had that experience as well. Robbie, I don't know if you if you do what I do, or uh, Jan, Jan said, um, yes, I think that's, yeah. Uh, um, Nancy said, lost audio, is it just me? I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Blah, blah, blah. We got four minutes left, three minutes left. Uh, get your last minute questions. Molly says, can you put a link to your group cruise? Thanks for the great information as always. It's my pleasure, Molly. Hi, boot camper. I'm glad you're here. Uh, absolutely. And in fact, if you go, I'll, I'll give you this, I'll, I'll put it on Facebook again, but if you go on to uh, my website, StuartLloydCohen.com, which is where you would log into boot camp, uh, you will see, I actually put it in the nav bar, River Cruise 2017. So the page is it's available there uh, if you want to take a look, but I'll, I can certainly put that in, um, in uh, on the Facebook page too. And you are welcome to join. I have a private uh, River Cruise boot camp page too. Uh, I'm happy to give you access there. I want you to see what I'm doing. I'm doing the things I'm teaching the boot camp, and I've learned a lot. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, Gina says, we're wrapping up here. Get your last-minute questions in. By the way, the next Ask Stewart Hour is July the 19th. July the 19th. Okay, make sure you RSVP for that so we have some more fun here. I love it when we've got a full house. Gina says, I have people question why I need it, and explain that your reservation has to match your travel docs exactly. Okay, so this is Gina's response to the document situation. Somebody who won't give the docs or questioning. Um, I explain why I need it and explain that your reservation has to match your travel docs exactly. If you choose not to forward them to me, that's okay. However, you will have to acknowledge that you did not provide them and you are solely responsible for any problems. Exactly. And, and that, right, because, right, you know, if, if it's not exactly as on their passport, they may not be able to board that plane. Okay, and that's why I had them fill in the form, and that's why when the air was booked through, in this case, the AMA Air Department, I sent it back, and it shows, and it says on the, the piece of paper, it says uh, your 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 passport must match this uh, this reservation exactly. You know, so I put it out there. Thank you, Gina, for suggesting that. Uh, Diamond says, uh, sending you an email now regarding TS Cultivating Group Business. All right, that sounds great. Thank you, Diamond. Uh, Gina says, I also return all copies to the client with their travel documents. Got it. So you, after the trip, Gina, you return everything back to the client with their travel docs. Um, I get it. Or uh, all copies. Okay, so you give it back to them. So you get it in advance to make sure they've done all this typing, but, but, but you don't carry it on the trip. Or you get you give them the copies if you don't go with them on the trip, and if you were going with them, I guess you would hold it. Not exactly sure what you mean, but I think I do, Gina. Uh, hey, Clavia, what's going on? Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. She's logging in now because the thought it thought started at noon. No, <laughs> it didn't. But it's okay. It's being recorded for instant playback at any time. I'm sure I'll post it later today. I'm so sorry. It was just a great session. Nancy said, any uh, word on a special rate for client base? Email me. Yeah, uh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, Darla, uh, who was my special guest uh, several weeks ago, uh, a special guest regarding um, technology and efficiency and software, managing your, your business exquisitely so that you're not using um, uh, memo pads and uh, index cards. I have a conversation with Darla today at 3 o'clock central time. And she, I was away, she was away, um, and so we're, we're about to connect. And I, you know, I, I normally don't do this kind of stuff because at boot camp I, 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 I make a pledge to non-commercial, non-partisan. Um, however, I see that there's a huge need for technology. And I know you guys are maybe with a franchise, you guys may be with, um, with a host or you may be with a, a consortium. So uh, I'm going to have a conversation with Dollar. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Because if you're not using something today, if I can help to make a connection to a solution, it would be my pleasure and my joy because that's so critical. And this is it. Um, oh, Gina, wait, one more thing. Hang on, everybody. Uh, Gina says, correct, I request the docs to prepare their travel arrangements. And when I present each passenger with the travel doc package prior to their trip, the copies they provided are returned to them. I got it. So the, the main reason for you collecting them is to make sure or is for you to fill in these forms so that 
the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, so they can't make a boo-boo, because of course then it becomes your problem if they do, uh, and then you give them the copies back. I get it. I also think, it, it. do you think it's a good idea to, if you are traveling with them, that you lock it up, you keep copies just in case they lose it uh, for their departure home uh, or at the airport when you're going there? Um, or if you're not going, maybe give it to the group leader or you keep a copy at your desk so, gosh forbid, there's a problem when they're away, you can fax it to the cruise ship pier because you have a copy of the passport. I think Cruise Line will allow that. I think, I think. That's it. We're out of time, everybody. I am so grateful that you're all here. Remember, I'll see you July 19th. I've got lots of stuff to post on Facebook, links, the pickup lines, the the, the uh, river cruise stuff. Uh, I'm going to send you a link to the the uh, job form I created for air. Grateful that you're here. Um, so grateful that you're in boot camp. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to connect with you this morning. Happy sales!